storm gripped Wisconsin. Over a foot of snow blanketed Lambeau. Far from sunny Tampa, the Bucks were indeed out of their element. Armed with sunscreen, a frisbee, and a tall, cool iced tea, a confident army hit the beach. The waves were perfect for body surfing, and the girls decided to catch some rays. Lynn Dickey, meanwhile, was razor sharp, firing for 299 yards in Packer weather. While not running on the fastest of tracks, both Ivory and Ellis gained over 100 yards apiece as Green Bay ran up an incredible 512 total yards. Going to be second down and about five yards to go. Here is the handoff. Coming to the left is Gary Ellis. Ellis looking for a first down, and he's got it. He's on his feet, and he's going to go. Down the left sidelines. Gary Ellis, touchdown, Green Bay. The Packers smothered Tampa Bay 21 to nothing. And on the way to their first shutout in eight years, they allowed but 65 yards in their greatest defensive performance in 18 years. Just as quickly as the storm hit. On a day when any sun would have been welcome, Lehman Bennett and the Bucks arrived at Lambeau Field in Green Bay with a 14-inch snowstorm as an escort. December in Tampa Bay means you may need a sweater. December in Green Bay means you do need a shovel. What a difference a bay makes. In an era of astroturf and dome-covered stadiums, this Sunday in Green Bay was reminiscent of old-time football. Unfortunately for the Bucks, this nostalgic trip left them out in the cold. 